Before we start with the video, I would just like to take some like few moments of your time and tell you my updated skincare routine. As a mother of two kids, you know, it's very hard for me to visit the dermatologist or you know take an appointment. I recently came across this app called Cure Skin because I've been seeing a lot of my YouTuber friends and my influencer friends uh, trying out their product and I was also really curious to try and guess what I finally have the product with me here and I have been using their products for a while now and it's been working really good for me I can see some changes in my skin as well I will keep using this product and I will keep you guys updated as well but for now I just want to explain it to you what your skin app is about your skin is not just an app it's like having a personal dermatologist at your fingertips they deliver customized skincare kit according to your skin issues and your skin type at your doorsteps every skin type is different so this is really helpful so how does the app work you just have to download the app from your Google Play Store or your App Store. Take a skin test, answer a few questions about your skin concerns and skin type and the product you are using. Mine is dark circles and dull skin. Then with a face scan using AI technology, dermatologists create a customized kit based on your unique skin type. It is tailored specifically for you no generic solutions here my kit costed me rupees 1499 which is really reasonable and this will probably last me for at least three months all the instructions quantity timings of when to use the product is available on the app not only this you also get free diet plans water intake lifestyle changes and even the consultations are free of cost it is so time-saving as you don't need to travel and so much affordable as well. I have an exclusive offer for you guys as well. You can use my code GRACE100 to avail rupees 100 off on your next purchase. But guys, hurry up because this offer is only applicable for the first 50 customers. So don't miss it out. Give it a try and experience the transformation for yourself hi everyone welcome back to our youtube channel we are here we're gonna do a q a in podcast format something like different we're trying something different recently my wife just posted a ask me a question on instagram story story so from there we're gonna pick up some because there's a lot of questions we won't be able to answer everything so there are very like there are many similar ones as well yes so yes we'll take turns to ask each other the question okay okay Let's so you, start you want to start first okay i'll start first right. mm, the most asked question is how did you meet michael you answer this just the meeting part how, how did, did we i meet, meet michael <laughs> oh <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry 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 okay i'll ask something different okay yeah. so Irene, Irene underscore San, San Lut. I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong, but she asked, when did you guys start dating? So uh, the first time we dated, I mean, there are two parts. We dated in the year 2016 for two months, and we started dating again in 2020. Yes. So, okay. I have a question from Shali Sangma. Okay. Yeah. And she has asked, how has motherhood changed you? Hmm. How has motherhood changed me? So yes, like motherhood is very tiring, but it's very rewarding as well. At the end of the day, um, you, you're tired, you're, you know, you're frustrated, you're angry all the time because it's very frustrating. That's the truth. But at the end of the day, when you look at your kids, when I look at my daughters, I feel like I am rewarded for what I have done and like for um, all the hard work, 
all the anger all the tiredness everything goes away when you look at the at your daughters or at your kids in general Just put in a line motherhood has changed me to become a very responsible woman yeah motherhood has taught me how to be very like patient with your kids especially and then to be a good wife a good mother to your kids and yeah that's it that's that's all okay thank you thank like, you is this your interview it feels like it because you <laughs> You've... I'm just not good with talking by the way. I I get very nervous. But as long as the message is heard and as long as she has a beautiful face and a heart, that's all that matters, right? Mm. Yes, yes. I think it's your turn to ask me. Vara_ks asked, "What's always been something that is hard for you to say no to?" Of course, I know. This. <laughs> you know this? Nah. Your daughter It's a difficult question for me. Yeah. Yeah. How how do I say no to I mean more than my daughter I think it's you. Okay. I'll be very honest. Sometimes you might want some rest or sometimes you might want things that I might not want. Mm. And it's not that I'm sacrificing my own happiness but uh sometimes I feel like your needs and your wants should surpass my needs sometimes mm. and even though in those moments i feel like saying no but then if i look at the bigger picture of it mm. if i say no to those things you know you might not be happy mm. and if you're not happy i won't be happy as well mm. and i but it's a very difficult question i think it's that, that's a nice question it's making me think tonight it, it's sweetie underscore says for us mm. who used to take the first step to reconcile when you quarrel of course my husband michael does michael is the first one to always reconcile because when i get angry or when i get mad i just want to be alone you know i need space and then yeah i i take time i need space and i just want to be alone but my husband here he would let me stay alone when i'm mad or angry so he would he would come up he would say oh babe let's solve this you know why are we fighting why are we even fighting why are we even angry at each other let's try to solve it first then you can take your space so yeah he is the first one to reconcile when we usually quarrel or fight or whatever it is Okay, my question. Rudy underscore Hokip, are you planning for a third child? <laughs> Let us do. <laughs> Almost made me spill my tea, man. Yes. Third child. Uh, no. Quick, quick, quick response. I'll tell you why. Uh, no, comma right now, not right now, because it's really difficult. We already have two wonderful babies. I I don't mind having more than two, but looking at the condition, uh, the financial situation that we're in right now, and also maybe the things that we want to do in the future, mm. it's really difficult to just even do what you want with, you know, two babies. But yes, no maybe for no for now. But yes, after what five years, maybe. Four, four, five years. Yeah. Five will be too much, but yeah, yeah. Be like three, four years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fung Fung Sok five three nine eight. If I mispronounced, I'm sorry. Does Michael have a temper? He comes across to me as a short-tempered man. I, uh, my wife would know best. To me, no. I don't think he has a temper towards me or my uh, kids or my family. But I think sometimes, like, he gets angry really fast. Not to me or my kids, but to strangers or, you know, to someone that he doesn't like or, you, yeah, 
but I don't think he has a temper towards me. But he he has a temper according to the to his reasons. So I can't say that he might have reasons for that why he is a uh, short temper, why he's angry. You know, of course he might he he might have a reason, but to me, according to me, he doesn't have a temper. Yeah, that's all I can say. Okay. Mm. Is it your turn? Yes, yeah. of course, my turn. Fine. Marine underscore Anna. She asked, "Why always talking in English with Tianhui?" Yes, that's a very good question. Mm. Well, uh, recently, before we met someone, I, I don't remember who said this to us both. So it was someone who gave us some wisdom uh, on parenthood. Before she told us, we would speak to her in many languages. To her, uh, to, to, to her as in, to Tiano, yes. English, Paite, Meite, Kuki, and uh, we thought, okay, by doing that, she would learn. But then we realized, after our friend, I think she came to us and told us that you should just uh, focus on speaking with your daughter until she turns three in one language mm. and when she picks it up you can introduce her to new languages so i was thinking we'll we'll stick to english first right, because she could grab english better than any yes. other language and in fact i think i speak in english a lot mm. and both of us we also converse in english sometimes Mostly, and i yeah. feel yeah i feel like that is something much more easier because if i were to uh, teach tianhui uh, Meite Lon or Kuki or Paite. I am not that fluent mm. in all the other languages. Mm. So I don't want to speak her with... I don't want her to speak with like, you know, half-baked mm -hmm. skill. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're sticking to English. Not because we do not like the other languages, but English is a bit more easier for us to understand. Of course, we'll teach her in the future. Yes. But we're starting with English first because that's like the common, you know, and comfortable, yeah, most yeah, comfortable yeah. for me. And, and for you know, her. kids these days they watch a lot of rhymes, so <coughs> they are really good with English. Yeah. So that's how she started learning English on her on her own. That's how she started. Then she could grab English more than the other languages. That's yes. Why. But she understands a bit of Paite, a bit of Kuki Tado, a bit of Manipuri. So it's okay. Uh, zero five seven zero two six nine KK says, <laughs> "How different is it being GFBF and becoming a becoming parents of two? Like I said, responsibilities. When you were a girlfriend boyfriend, you don't have any responsibilities. Say you're earning, or he's earning, or I am earning. It's just for both of us. We get to enjoy the." money right yes. i'm just giving an example yes and then we don't have to worry about anything the, about the future you know about anything you just live in the moment yeah i could say that no live in, a in way, the moment in a way yes we're just living in the moment when you're girlfriend and boyfriend but when you are parents you have to think about the future you have to think about the kids you have to think about their schooling oh my goodness don't even start it's like a lot so yeah, that's the difference between when you're a girlfriend, boyfriend, it's just living in the moment. When you are parents, it's yeah, I, a lot about the future. I want to add one more as well. Like You think twice before even buying things for yourself, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. be it clothes or something for yourself. So, so when you become a parent, your priority is not you anymore. It's your kids, you know. Yeah. And you don't get sleep as well. No sleep. No sleep. <laughs> I think it's your turn to ask. Yeah. Dumb, D U M B, Dumb K19 asked, How do you safeguard your relationship against external negative influences? That's for me. I think I'll answer this from the perspective of a man. Mm. I'll just keep it very simple because yeah. this is going to be too long, long if video. I explain. If as long as my wife and I stay united, stay strong, and we are able to communicate with each other through tough times and bad times, I think 
as long as we have that unity uh, no one's gonna be able to attack or destroy our relationship okay Hadne Hoy Tracy underscore Odin underscore mom asks how do you manage so well with two babies tips please like it's nothing <laughs> like you see on social media it's not easy it i don't show the you know i don't show everything on social media right so it's just you know let's say like i have 10 hours and i get to show you only one hour part of one hour so even i i sometimes i get very frustrated it's not easy you don't have time for yourself you're just occupied with too many things you know you're occupied with your husband your kids and then your pri- you being your own first priority that's like completely not there anymore but yes i try to i try to be very patient but the thing is that um, you know with two babies nothing is easy i don't i don't have any help but luckily i have help now i have a permanent babysitter or a nanny you could call so yeah i have that now but before that i used to be like i just didn't have time for myself and then uh, i would give all the time to my husband and my kids but i didn't have time for myself and i don't mind that because that's not gonna be forever right when they grow up they'll be independent they will do things on their own and i'll be free and i'm gonna miss all these things that i'm doing right now but yes like i said it's nothing that you see on social media i cry sometimes i just scream sometimes when it's too much but i have a very supportive husband so yeah he is always there to help me you know to he, we basically do everything together that's why it looks easy yeah if you have a very supportive partner then it's not that difficult i think she's your friend esther asked how often did you glance at my picture and smile while at work in a single day when i need to know this i don't need to keep a picture of you when your picture is on my head <sighs> all day well like there's no need to put wallpapers i don't do that because i remember you each hour every minute i think of you okay. and even though we don't text or talk during work hmm. I always remember you. Mm. <laughs> Somu underscore Tenzing asks, Are you happy? I am happy. <laughs> That's yeah. very simple. Yeah. Of course. What do you expect? I have two beautiful daughters. I have a handsome husband who is very supportive. What more can I ask? That's it. I am happy. I'm very happy. You have a husband. You can remove handsome. Yeah. Because you're handsome. What? Okay, girl. Stephen Tamang. Our friend Stephen. Oh, yeah. He asked, Who named your daughters and why? Because it's a great selection. Okay, thank you. Let's start with Heather. Yeah. Heather was actually the name of my guitar. We had a... I had a Yamaha and we my dad purchased that for me in the year 2011. And there was a song by Andy McKee called Heather's Song and I really loved it and that moment ever since I would tell my friends that the first daughter I have at the age of 25 would be called Heather. And there's a meaning on 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 that I really want to share it quickly. Some orchids or plants that would grow on barren land right mm-hmm. so i try to relate to that meaning with my life as much as i can because uh in my life as well i try to find ways to grow when there's nothing next to me and second uh 
we had a f- I wouldn't say a fight but we had an argument I, I wouldn't even call it an argument preference uh, preference and my dad wanted to name the second one Naomi mm. and both of us we wanted to name her Eden mm. we went on with the first uh, with our choice mm. but I think my dad won yeah. and we picked the name Naomi because he also explained whatever we went through from Naomi's message from the Bible as well we thought you know it would be apt with uh, the situation so mm. Heather and Naomi yeah Actually, like, I still call her Eden because that's something I, I was really, I was really obsessed with. Yeah, you can yeah. say that. I always wanted to name if I had a second daughter, I always wanted to name her Eden. Yeah. So yeah, it's In, okay. I mean, when she grows up, she can choose Naomi or yes. Eden or whatever. So her, On. I call her uh, Eden, but uh, but her pet name is like Den Den. Or I call her uh, Momoi, which is like uh, her tribal name. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. It's getting a bit long. We should just stick to a few more questions, maybe. Mm. And then we can call it a night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Christy Lane oh. underscore B Visa asked. How did you guys keep up with the romance even after having two babies? <laughs> romance, not that. I'm just too busy sometimes with the babies and everything that I forget to give love to my husband. But of course, romance is not that. My husband, he doesn't look like he's romantic. He's very romantic. So he is the one. So I'll hand over the question to him how do we uh, how do, do you keep it up you can't ask the same question no, i you. answered my part right because i have a very romantic husband that is why our romance is not that okay it's difficult i understand you have babies we you have babies have. sometimes i may maybe you get tired so that's why you're not in the mood or maybe you get too overwhelmed with so many things at home that you get too tired to even think of it so it's probably a face but then again it's not that even if you don't say it or show it even if i don't do that deep down inside i know that i have a loving wife i love you Mm. and you love me so yeah and my way of being romantic is cooking good food (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right You're, right yeah. that's how I I, don't know. I am very bad with expressing that's what you always to, uh, like scold me for right I don't scold you but not I, scold I, you but you, yeah, you remind tell you. me you yeah. re- remind me that I am like very bad with expressing because I don't talk much I do I look like I talk a lot but when it comes to all these things I really don't talk so yeah and michael is very good in expressing yes that's how we balance you know yeah i think if we were both the same mm, we wouldn't yeah we won't be together I, and we're not perfect guys we are not perfect we fight sometimes of course we argue we fight that's a part of relationship you know yeah Neoki love underscore love asked Michael he mi upaham Michael te ucha izat izat hey Michael in ipina atoham Do you understand Is I Michael the last part The first part mi upa is like the elder one like who looks after Okay take care of the family the and eldest the one, one the second one is that how many siblings do you have? And the last is, what work do you do? Your job mm-hmm. profile. Uh, I am the eldest, yeah, and I have two younger siblings. I work as a language trainer, mm. corporate trainer. Yep, that's my work. He has two younger brothers, by the way. It's three of them. Three yes. of them are boys. Should we do a part two? 
We okay. should we do a part two? Like, should yeah, because we there's can a lot them. of question pending. And not just this. I think people, if they watch this, yeah, they can they, ask more in the comment more. section. And you can make it fun. Mm, you can ask funny things, man. Why are you asking so it's serious? All serious ones? questions. Yeah. It's like, and then some questions are also inappropriate. Yeah, you asked me, you know, last. Yeah. Okay. I think I should ask this and close. Mm, for today. For today. Mangte937. Mm. When is your first kiss? When he meant to say, first. when When was your first kiss? With me. Of course, with you. What do you expect? <laughs> Michael and mine. Our first kiss was on October 6th. Uh, was it 3rd? I think it was 6th. 3rd. The day you confessed. It was just a peck. No, no. The day you gave me Bible. It's below that. What was that name of the cafe again? Wait. I don't remember the date exactly, but it was... I have to check. We have to check. Even he didn't remember. Right? But I don't remember the date, but I remember. Our first kiss... Okay, whatever. Let me see. Our first kiss was in October 2020 in Manipur, Imphal. In Imphal, Manipur. Sorry. Imphal, Manipur. We met... That day, we met at a cafe. Then... What was the name of the cafe? Charcoal. Yes. So... Where was it? We were parking. I don't want to mention where anything. I'll just... No, you have to mention. Where is it? You, you, you Do you even know yes, that In the place? car. Where is it in the sense I was going to say? I thought you were asking the address. Where? Yeah. No, you don't have to say from the beginning. You can continue. Okay. Our first kiss was in October 2020. It was during the first week of October. I'll just have to check when the exact date... So that was the first time we kissed October 2020 inside the car um, after he confessed that he loved me or whatever after he confessed yeah that was our first kiss How was it was that it? it was dark already at that time it was around six it was dark yeah, yeah. but it was very quick hmm no hanky panky guys it was just a kiss and you were very shy yeah i was so shy i didn't expect him to do that because i'm a man of surprises mm. yeah. okay anyway anyway part two if you want part two you can always comment down yes give us then a comment do a part two it was nice uh it feels like we are connecting by doing this it's a good way mm. to connect with each other mm. and i had a lovely time talking to my wife i hope we you had a good a, time we had a lovely time talking to you guys so yeah as well yeah if you want to watch part two you can comment down and then you can ask any question you guys would like to ask because most of you are not in my instagram followers as well no so mm -hmm. you can comment down Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. If you enjoy the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. Bye. Bye bye.